Senator, uh, you've obviously put a lot of work in this, and, and I will make reference to the, the four amendment because I've, I've seen it before, and, um, and now is the time for this discussion. But w what I'm curious about, when we look at the population bracket, is it tied to the 2010 census? Yes. The communities, so it's all communities that were just at 285 at 2010 going forward, and there's no update. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, one of the things that, that we talked about the other day, and there has been discussion uh, about uh, accountability. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this bill sets down no accountability standards whatsoever. Is that correct? This bill requires a private school that receives funds to be accredited by the private school accreditation folks of Texas, which is about 18 different accreditation organizations that all work together in unison with this group. And those private schools are required to have a nationally norm referenced exam given annually. They're required to have a financial audit done annually. They're required to hire teachers with college degrees. So the accreditation process has a lot of accountability built into it. And they are, they are visited and inspected annually by the accreditation organizations. When we talk about that normative assessment, that's something like SAT and ACT, is it not? Iowa basic skills, I've got a couple, three tests like that, that they're, you know, because ACT, SAT is only for the higher grades, so they do have some tests that start lower. But all students who want to go into college take those anyway. Yes. They have to take it, it's required. Correct. What concerns me, I think, is in what I would ask you to, to talk about is we have, and certainly you have, spent a lot of time and energy for an accountability system that while it still needs a lot of improving, it's, it's been improving, and it consists of the STAR test, and it consists of the A through F system, and that's what we absolutely require of public schools for whom we provide funding. Such a requirement will not be made of private schools under this bill. Isn't that correct? That's correct. We are, uh, you know, in fact, other states have enacted school choice. The ones that didn't perform as well put over onerous regulations onto private schools that they were not doing as part of their program, and the performance uh, w suffered under those circumstances because the private school had their own curriculum, their own things that they were doing on their own. So are you saying that systems don't perform well if they must meet accountability standards? I'm not saying that, but some schools have different specialties in how they do things and different curriculums that they follow. And you, know, you have the classical, you have any number of different ways that the private school can do it. And by placing a regulation that's the same for the state of Texas on those schools, you may in fact do what they don't want you to do, and that's uh, get involved with how they do their schooling. But just as you described that, that some private schools do different things, unusual things, and things like that, we have magnet schools yes, sir. in public schools yes, sir. that do arts and sciences and charter schools, but they aren't exempt from those accountability standards, are they? Uh, no, they're not. Charter schools are included. Yeah, charter schools are in, included. All private schools accepting uh, voucher students are required to give the state test to all enrolls and receive a grade in the same public schools. Um, to the best of your knowledge, is that working in Indiana is the reason that we shouldn't do what Indiana does since we're talking about what other states do in this case? Well, we've looked at some studies. There's one that did, did, uh, looked at about 15 different studies, and frankly, two of the examples they said were the worst were Indiana and Louisiana. Okay, what about Wisconsin? Where private schools participating in any of, of Wisconsin's traditional voucher programs are required to maintain accreditation and a statutorily approved accrediting agency. Which accrediting agency is it that, re that requires accreditation of private schools? We have a, a Texas Association of Accreditation Agencies. I don't have the name right in front of me, but it's, like I said, it's about 18 different accrediting agencies that are part of this group. That was actually started like in 1986 to do private schools in Texas, 1986-1988, and they take care of the accreditation for all of our private schools in Texas. In Maine, in Maine, any private school whose population is made up of 60 or students in a voucher program participate in this? How's the performance of the program in Maine? I'm, I'm not familiar with the Maine experience. I think you and I and a good number of the people on this floor voted, I don't know the number of the bill, 
but it proscribes the teaching of Common Core in schools, in public schools in the state of Texas. Do you recall that? I'm sorry, say that again. It is, it is a statute that prescribes the teaching oh, common core. of Common Core no, in no. public schools. It prescribes it not teaching. Right. Yeah. Help me understand then when we look at, at, at this, and I have a couple of things here on private schools, parochial schools, currently in Texas, where it says, in order to offer a more rigorous curriculum, the schools will begin adopting the Common Core standards. I have yet another one. Another parochial school says, the curriculum embraces the instructional shifts of Common Core state standards. There is no mention in this bill whatsoever of any prohibition of use of Common Core. Does that constitute an endorsement or acceptance of Common Core that if you are outside the public school system, Common Core is okay for state funding? Well, we have a uh, amendment that will be coming that will be preventing the use of Common Core for any of our pr participating private schools. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. The last reservation that I had had to do with in, in parochial schools who teach theologies, and a lot of the ones that exist in Texas today are theologies that most, if not everyone in this room, believe in, even practice. But as we discussed the other day, what about a parochial school that pops up that eschews the, the normal curriculum, what the uh, customary sort of religious practice in teaching, be it a Wiccan school, or uh, that teaches things like, as I pointed out the other day, that might be philosophy that is anti-American, anti-Christian, anti-Israel. There is nothing that would prevent them from doing that. It is, it is their constitutional right. It is not their constitutional right to get public monies to teach that kind of philosophy. Did you intend to sort of endorse that sort of use of public money? Uh, well, obviously not. And you know, this group I'm talking about is the Texas Private School Accreditation Commission. It was formed in 1986. And there are 16 accrediting commissions that comprise a commission. 18 of those are actually look like they're Christian related with names like American Association of Christian Schools, International Christian Accrediting Association, Lutheran Schools, uh, Episcopal Schools, Catholic Schools, Seventh day Adventist, Evangelical Lutheran. So I, I think they're going to have a little problem with some types of the uh, accreditation getting through some of those schools. The other thing, we do have some schools that are Islamic schools in Texas, but they're also, uh, of the 27 private schools that administer the STAR test, so we actually have private schools that are administering the STAR test. Uh, they're, they're, those are the Islamic schools doing the STAR test, and they also have uh, accreditation commission requires uh, courses pertaining to citizenship, uh, so it's going to be hard for an anti-American type thing going. But we also have an amendment. The one that has a common core is also going to include a thing about preventing funding going to schools that teach anti-American things. So we're, we're trying to... And you don't think that there's a constitutional that. problem telling the school that they can't teach a particular religious philosophy, however onerous we may find it? Well, if it's anti-American, I think if we're going to you know, promote America in this, this state, I think we have the right to do that. I didn't say anti-religious, I said anti-American. And frankly, in this country, you're free to exercise any religion you want. That's you're, the beauty of living in this country. Ab and the beauty absolutely of you are. But to this day, there is no republic, there is no provision in law that I know of, please correct me, that requires public funding for an education or, or speech that is anti-American or anti-religion or things like that. Are you aware of any? I'm not right off the top of my head, but we do have a lot of rules that, you know, you could do a lot of things in this country, but insurrection, rebellion, uh, those types of things we do have laws against. And, and frankly, in this, this bill, you'll see an amendment that will come forth that will say we're not going to fund anti-American uh, education. And so you think in a religious philosophy where they simply teach that the Bible is not relevant and the Koran is the operative book, 
and the, the, all the, the bad things that we hear people say about the United States, certainly not alluding to something like treason or insurrection, you think that the provision in this bill will allow us to keep them from teaching that sort of philosophy in school? They have to be accredited, and someone will be on that campus once a year. They'll have a financial audit, uh, and they'll be taking tests to make sure that they are staying within their parameters of being an accredited. Who accredits the Muslim schools in Texas? They're all done by, the, they're accredited by the Private School Association. It's going to be done by the Texas Private School Accreditation Commission, which has been accrediting private schools in Texas since 1986. And so if schools were to teach an atheistic philosophy, which would make them really non-parochial, I guess, um, is there anything in the bill that prevents them from doing that or would prevent them from getting public money? I'm sorry, did you say atheistic? Yes. I don't, I don't believe so, unless they're teaching anti-American type things. Thanks very much. Thank you.